All right, in question 11 here, we have to find the surface area of a pentagonal pyramid. So if we were to draw the net, and I'm going to draw it in different pieces, we have a base that's a pentagon, okay, where uh, the apothem is 7.2. So what we need to find are these base, are, are these side lengths here, so that when we divide the pentagon into triangles, um, you could do base times height divided by 2 times 5. So we got to find that length right there. Um, we have the actual height of the pyramid, which is good for volume. But when you're doing uh, surface area, we want to find the slant height because. So we want to find this. All right, it's not writing. Sorry about that. Come on. There we go. Uh, we want to find that slant height, which forms a right triangle with 15.4 and 7.2. So we'll find that in a second. But we have five of these triangles where we don't know the height. We'll call it L for slant height. And we don't know the base of these triangles. All right, so let's, uh, let's do the slant height first. Okay, so to find the slant height, we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem using the actual height and this apothem as the legs, and then uh, the hypotenuse is the slant height, it's L. So we do 7.2 squared plus 50.4 squared equals L squared. All right, take the square root of both sides, and we get that L is 17. So the height of each of these triangles that makes up the lateral area, so like this triangle right here, is going to be 17. All right, now we have to find this purple length. Oops. Um the base. So to do that we have to use what we know about regular pentagons. So we got to find that length right there. We'll call it x, which is the same thing as that right there. Well we know if we divide up the pentagon into congruent triangles, 360 divided by 5, that each of these vertical angles, not vertical angles, but each of these angles are going to be 72 degrees. So that means that this angle right here would be 36 degrees. Now you can use Sokatoa to find, we'll call this A, which is half of X, so X is equal to 2A. Um, so if we do like the tangent of 36 set equal to A over 7.2, right? we get that A is equal to 7.2 times the tangent of 36, so we get that A is 5.2. Now A represents half of this base, so the entire length is going to be double that, which is 10.46, so 10.5. Okay, so this base right here is 10.5, uh, all these bases here are 10.5. Alright, so now let's put it all together, and first we're going to find the area of the base, we'll call it A of P for the pentagon. Alright, that's going to be 10.5, which is the length of each side, times 7.2, which is the height of each triangle, divided by 2, and then times 5. So if I type that in the calculator, we get that the base has an area of 188.32 square millimeters. All right, and then the lateral area um, is going to be the area of all the triangles times 5, because there are 5 of them. So that's going to be base 10.5, same base as the pentagon, or side length of the pentagon, times the height, which is 17, divided by 2. Um, and then there's 5 of those triangles, so we multiply it by 5. So 10.5 times 17 times 5 divided by 2, we get 4, 446.25. So our final answer, um, we're just going to add the pentagon and the lateral area and that will give us the surface area. And we should get around 634.6 square millimeters for the surface area.